Your last mission didn't exactly work out, Tom. Your killing everybody means a lot of problems for us. They tried to rape Sarah. The cops ought to thank me. I know, but the one you let get away will make trouble. What? We didn't let anybody get away. They're all dead. One lived. They pulled him out of the car wreck. Shit. The one you killed was the son of a city councilor, the mayor's friend, and Morello's accomplice. And the one who lived will go crying to the councilor. Daddy didn't exactly love his son. But in these cases, a person can remember a lot of good things. By the way, his funeral's today. Pity I can't make it. You're lucky that second one didn't know who you were and couldn't give you up. But that's not why I sent for you. Tom, I have quite a delicate job for you today. Come on, let's get in the car. An owner of one of the businesses which the Don has invested a lot of money in has suddenly decided to forget his obligation. And he has taken up with Mr. Morello. It seems that Morello is trying to test our limits. We're not going to play his game. So what's going down? We're going to blow the place up. What? What kind of joint is it? A hotel. Yeah. That is, it's a brothel. Huh? But no regular who house. It's a place for classy society types. And I have to knock them all off? Of course not. We'll just liquidate the owner and blow up his office. That should be enough of a warning for the others. We means me, right Frank? I take out the owner and I blow up the hotel. Exactly. And there's one more thing. One of their girls is passing information about our activities to Morello. We'll need her eliminated too. Frank, I, I have to kill a woman? Worst luck, huh? Here's a photo of her. She's cute. And she looks familiar. Are you certain this is her? Unfortunately, yes. Her big mouth has lost us a pile of money and some of our people. Why don't Paul or Sam do it? We know the place in and out. They'd be dead before they can get it together. Mm, so what's the plan? It's downtown, the Corleone Hotel. Find the boss and shoot him. You can do it in public. It'll be a warning. Then take care of the girl. The owner's office is on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and then set up the explosives. You won't have time for much else. This won't be no picnic. I know. But if we don't take care of this now, we are next in line. Maybe you're right. The weapon and explosives are here in the car. Tom, good luck. Good old machine. I used to do my cab being in one. I can get in without a key.
You want a good time, sweetie? Afternoon. Where would I find the manager, please? He's in the hotel restaurant having lunch, sir. It's just through those doors. He's the man in the white suit. Much obliged. Uh, by the way, I'm looking for the girl in this photo. She works here. Do you know where I can find her? And who are you? A Seamus or Vice? No, I've never seen her before. If you want to enjoy yourself, choose from one of the girls down here. Well, I'm no Seamus. I just need to talk with her. Like I said, never seen her. So be kind enough to get out and don't make no problems. Watch the mouth, old timer. I ain't used to it. Me neither. And my two-headed sawed-off from just under the counter was saying that your behavior is not acceptable. So I advise a slow, cool exit. Hmm. I'll remember you. What are you doing? What's going on? What, what are you going to do? What do you want from me? I'm sorry, Michelle, but I heard that a bunch of people got knocked off because of your talk and someone lost a lot of dough. You're dangerous to us. It, it isn't true. It couldn't be true. Tom, wait! I, I didn't know I'd hurt anyone. I, I wanted to help my brother and... I knew it. This could only happen to me, a total screw-up. I can't just kill a young girl. A young man who wanted to help her own brother? Probably a real bastard. On the other hand, is it worth getting killed over it? Get dressed, and get out. Thank you. This place is gonna blow in a little while. I don't want to see you in this town again. Nobody can see you here anymore. Thank you so very much. In this town, you're dead. Go away and never show your face here again. Get it? I promise. You will never hear about me again. This is the way everybody ends up when they sell out to Morello. What's your business here? Help, there's some nut here. Give it him someone. Get him out of here. Shoot him. We'll find you anyway.
than just regular work.
and was taken from us unexpectedly. The Lord awaits his flock with opened arms, and those such as Billy are awaited in the heavenly realm. Billy was a good son, brother, and friend. We will all remember him in that light and pray for his salvation, since he did so much good. And now Billy's friend, who was with him during the last moments of his short life on this earth, would like to say a few words. Come, my son. Thank you, Father. You know, I, I wanted to pay my respects to Bill today and to tell him that I considered him as my own brother, that his death was a great loss for me. Huh? What are, I was that is, present at his death and- How? That's the one! And that's the bastard who killed Billy! Get him! Go! So you in hell. Don't right. move! Get down, Fada! Mercy, don't kill I me. have a wife and children. Don't no, do please. it. Please spare me. No, please spare. Me. Have mercy, don't kill me. I have a wife and children. Don't do it. Out of you. Wife and child. Don't do it. Do it. Leave me alone, please! Don't kill me. Oh, it is only I. My son, don't shoot. I am unarmed. What have you done, my son? Such suffering for nothing. God is forgiving, but this is terrible. Don't you know murder is the greatest sin? I know, Father. But somehow everything got fouled up. I made a mistake somewhere. So many people have died without reason. They could have done much more with their lives. Father, these people were criminals, cheats, murderers. The one lying in the front wanted to rape my girl. Maybe God wanted it this way. A lot of people will have an easier life because of this. Yes, the Lord works in mysterious ways. But what about you? You can look yourself in the face. Your hands are stained with blood that you'll never wash off. 
I know that, Father. Look around you. Such a waste. We'll have to consecrate the church again. Everything is shot up. I can't let my parishioners in here. What am I going to do? Maybe this will help? Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. By the way, Father, your little speech about Billy, I'm wondering about your conscience. Billy wasn't such a good person, and he didn't do good when he was alive. You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. Aw, oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle. 
that I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything, that I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly while I still had the chance, when it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. It was weird, but suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. So how's life, Tommy? Yeah, going okay. Just... just... Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, Tom, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party and go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with her. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah, Frank. One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're in an old farm outside of town, and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a car from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at our warehouse. Paul will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. So what have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom. I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. They put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's 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 real easy. You can take this car or something older. Whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie.
Hey, Tommy. We're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We want you with us in case of any trouble. But it should be real easy. You don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking more shit before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. It's the life. Police, countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about her? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure he ain't too bothered. You saved the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole her right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? I had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it! What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. It smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, your friend, he's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs>
They're all dead! What? The truck crew, out there in the back, they wasted them. What? What about Sam? Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. The barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. That was a massacre! This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. Sam, it's me, Paulie! Come on, we're going home. Oh. <laughs> we're going to the doctor. I ain't feeling so good. He must be coming down or something. Hmm. I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. Keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need him. Got it. Holly, it looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us.
over here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doctor. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, Doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay. Where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. And Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, you'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. Nah, at least that's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double-crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least, try to have one. Tommy, you come like a gift from heaven. A stoolie just called me and said that the cops want to pick one of my friends up. Hey, we gotta let him know as fast as possible. He lives in a house in Hoboken. Could you go and warn him? Okay, Lucas. this time of night. Lucas Bertone said me. You gotta disappear. The cops will be here any minute. Shit. Thank Lucas for me. And you too, of course. I better go out the back so no one sees me. Goodbye. Good luck. Fine. Went well. He thanked you and then quickly disappeared. Ah, oh, thank God. Hey, I have a reward for you, Tommy.
Hey, this is totally new. It's a little different than his other cars. It's the first line of cars with an aerodynamic form. Yeah, hey, they look pretty sharp to me, but many people don't like them. Yeah, the main thing is that it purrs like a kitten, yeah. And you can snag one easy. You just stick this wire in here, boom, that's it. One guy who lives in Oakwood has the same model. He parks it in front of the garage next to his house, eh? Great, thanks. Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, It'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, We'll do time. And plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown, and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then, track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Capiche? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. 
get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. We both got jobs to do, Tommy. We'll talk later. Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, t -t -t Tommy, I got a new car. Just a bit better than that, than, than, than that v v v v V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but it ain't no problem when you're in the the, 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 the business. That's it. Thanks, Ralphie. Hello, Vince. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me? A Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sword off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupata. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. from Mr. Salieri, but we need to know where the cops have got Frank. All right, Tommy. I don't know nothing about it. Hey, little Tony. He's like this with the cops. Tony. Mr. Salieri needs to know where the cops are holding Consigliere Frank. Big Biff suggested you might know something. Hey there, Tom. Uh, look, I don't know uh, what they, uh, what, where, where, where they've got Frank exactly, but uh, I do know there's a scumbag uh, that's been blurting stuff, uh, something about Frank and the, co and, uh, the cops the other day. Uh, they call him uh, Idiot Joe because he's a complete idiot. He hangs out uh, on a lot under the bridge. Or, uh, you'll know him. He's completely bald. Great, Tony. I owe you one.
Get out, Get of, out here. of here. Get lost. Hey there. You Joe by chance? Get the wrong guy. I'm Pete. Well then, I'm George. Sorry to hear that. Say, ain't you got a twin brother by the name of Joe? My brothers ain't none of your business. Well, I gotta talk to somebody named Joe damn quick. Don't know that fella. I ain't getting through to you. It's pretty damn important. What's important is that uh, you got a scram. Take it easy. I ain't leaving till I find out where Joe is. That's tough, George. Mom used to always say, Joe, don't go talk to strangers or taking their candies. What did I tell you? Joe. Go screw yourself. I want to know if Fuzz has got Salieri's, Consigliere Frank, or my man. What not told you that? I don't know shit. Jeez. Don't try and rile me, Joe. Just remember real quick. Christ! I told you I don't know anything about it, Buck. Just scram. You want to play hardball, huh? Spill it! Buzz off! Come on, Joe! You deaf for what? Ow! Okay! Okay! Already! You win, man! You win! For Christ's sake, stop hitting me! I'll spill the beans! I'm all ears. Frank and those bastards agreed that if he gave the account books, they'd back him off to Europe. You better move it. He's probably leaving today. They've been holding him in some joint opposite the tennis courts in Oak Alley. That's all I can tell you. Now leave me alone, you rat. You've been a big help, Joe. Next time, get to the point a bit earlier. That was close. They must be worried about Frank if they're driving him around in an armor-plated car. Well, I'll follow them and see where they're headed.
Frank, the Don sent me, and you know why. I know why. I know. I don't get what happened to you. I thought you were my friend. I'd have never guessed that something like this would happen. Why the hell did you do it? Tom, I couldn't go on this way. Too many people have died lately, and I, I don't have the stomach for it. it. Used to be different with the Don in the old days. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Tom, this is a war and I don't want to fight anymore. I, I got a child and I, I thought I'd finally get some peace. You couldn't have done this some other way? You didn't have to sell us out. They came for me and I had to surrender. They have my wife and daughter, Tom. If I don't give them the books, they'll kill them. Before, we used to solve things like men. You, Paulie, or Sam would get them back. But I can't take that risk this time. I don't want to lose them, Tom. I can't live without them. They told me if I did what they wanted, they'd release them and send us to Europe, where we'd start again. Cops? The cops are blackmailing you and want to kill your family? Ever since you and Paulie killed that Billy kid, the cops and Morello have been working hand in hand. The counselor, the kid's father, got where he is thanks to Morello. Morello wanted to get me to talk and the police would then liquidate the Don. Both sides would then get what they wanted. I'm afraid this situation has changed somewhat. Where are the books, Frank? I haven't got them, Tom. You handed them over already? No. No, Tom. 
I'll tell you where they are to get my wife and daughter back. We were supposed to wait here at the airport, so they must be holding them somewhere around here. Come here after if you want. Just make sure they get out of this city alive. Fine. But you'll have to give me those books first, Frank. Sorry, but they're in case you're lying. Shots and we just uh, better stay inside. I don't know what to do. Uh, there must be some kind of hoods. So uh huh. Okay. But hurry. Uh, Are you Frank's wife? You've come to save us. I am indebted to you. Where is Frank? He's here. Wait here. I'll be right back. You're okay, Frank. Come with me. Mark. Oh, good. Alice. Thank God you're all right. Darling. Thanks, Tom. They promised they'd give me plane tickets when I gave them the books. Those tickets must be here somewhere. Could you try to find them? Okay, I'll do that, Frank. Wait here for me. I hope you ain't planning no funny business. I'm glad you got rid of those crooks. The police behave worse than gangsters.
Here you go, Frank. Thanks, Tom. Let me say goodbye to March and Alice, and then we'll sort out this what? business. What? Frank, you want flying with us? What? I can't. What? Tommy and I have a very serious situation here that we must sort out. Right, Tom? Frank, just tell me where the books are and go with them. What? How would you explain it to the Don? Forget about it. That's my problem. Where are the books? I'll never forget this. Here's the key to a safe box in the First National Bank downtown. The books are there. Take it, Tom. Thanks. And Tom, thanks for everything you've done for us. I'm indebted to you. And tell the Don I'm sorry for the way things had to end. To the Don, you're dead, Frank. If he finds out you're not, then this isn't finished. Now just go. Tommy, I'll never forget how you helped us. God bless you. Goodbye, mister. And, uh, don't forget what I told you in the car that time. In the end, your best friend kills you. Frank told me that in the car. And now, it was me who was meant to kill a friend. Only I didn't do it. Don't do to others what you wouldn't want them to do to you, or however they say it. And I didn't want Polly to knock me off anytime soon. <laughs> I may have given him a reason to do just that today. I brought it on myself. I just hope he likes me as much as I like Frank. Frank didn't lie. The briefcase with the account books was in the safe box. There was no problem getting it. Hello there, Tommy. How's it going? Fine, and you? I'm great, but some bouncer from Hobo can beat up my buddy. He hangs around a black cat bar. You know, I want someone to go and uh, teach him a lesson. That won't be a problem. You do that, Tommy? Oh, that's great. Hey, but uh, don't shoot him. I don't want you to kill him. Just uh, 
hit him until he begs for mercy, yeah. If you do this, and I get you a real exhibition piece. Sure. What's the scum look like? Ah, uh, he's a real big gorilla. Some character at the Black Cat Bar. You can't miss him. His name's Big Stan. You just tell him it's a lesson from Carlo. Okay, I'll go to it. Big Stan? Who wants to know? I've got a message from Carlo. You want to get it like him, or what? No, not me. It looks like today you're in luck. I'll break you to pieces. Oh. Dig it, bastard! I'll get you! So, he, uh, learned his lesson? If he doesn't get new teeth, he'll have to eat baby food. <laughs> uh, Carlo will be real happy. So, where's the car? A guy at a millionaire's quarter up in Oak Hill has got it. It's a minor technical revolution. Great motor, drives real good. It's, uh, front-wheel drive, you see. Yeah, movie stars drive those cars. That's right, look at the lock. It's a piece of cake. But when you go for it, be careful. The guy has some bodyguards. Thanks, Lucas. Bastard, don't touch that car. Thief, police! <laughs> 